Hello and welcome to episode 19 and possibly the last of our Grombar campaign. In the last episode, we continued our development of the Reach area. Uh, had to get a bunch of buildings built up here, so now all of this is pretty highly developed, or at least semi-highly developed. Uh, and it is very valuable in bringing in lots and lots of cash for us. Uh, today, we have only... Well, we have three objectives. One, kill Great March. Two, kill the Wed. And three, develop a couple cities up in the Garudia area. We'll start off with the Garudian uh, cities. So, Dark Great Marches, that's fine. Where is it? Repopulation of Garudian cities. So, Kanu Graven and Red Garvin, Red, Red Gar Haven need to have a temple, a marketplace, a workshop, and a barracks. So, where is Kanu? Yeah, whatever that means <laughs> here. I believe this is uh, Bjarnwick's old capital. Is it any level of development necessary? I have already forgotten. Uh, no. Nope, just needs all of that. So it already has a marketplace. Let's go ahead and get a workshop built up. And I know that Red Garaven is somewhere over here. Right here. Uh, this already has a marketplace and a temple, so we'll get a workshop going. Then we will need another building slot. So let's go ahead and get that developed up a little bit to 10. Just burn that. That'll give us what we need there. And then here, uh, looks like we already have four building slots. So we are good to go for that. Uh, and now I guess... We have to just wait for that. Um, so, Great March. We can take them out. They are allied to Eagle Crest and uh, Elecand. They are guaranteed by Arborand. The war will not be difficult. We will have to fight West of them. So, actually, it will be more difficult than I had initially expected. Uh, they'll be bringing in quite a few troops. Now, West of them is allied with these guys. But they're actually at war with uh, Viacock and Brateka. <laughs> the two gnolls. Why? Viacock is declared war against Vern. What? How did you get a claim up here? That's my question. You don't have a claim up here. How did you possibly... Oh, they went down here. Interesting. Oh, wow. Wow, they have quite a few troops. Okay. Kind of terrifying. Uh, but I guess now is a great time to go to war with them. So let's move our troops down towards Great March and uh, get ready. We shall show them the power of the half orcs. Uh, if you're willing to become a vassal, you are not, because I own core provinces. So instead, you must die. So sorry. I don't make the rules, I just follow the mission tree. Nothing personal, kid. Alright, let's go ahead and split and split. Get into halves there. Throw on a guy, we'll instantly go. Really? Go There's no shot Go ahead. It's gonna give me access. Uh, but, wow, they will? Because I'm at war with their rival. <laughs> okay, sure, we'll complain. Uh, you go down, you pop in and attack their troops, and you can just siege these two provinces down. Uh, yeah, I have 20,000 troops out here, that's fine. I don't think we're going to absolutely need them. Our quality should carry us through. Uh, yeah, people are trying to assault our forts. That's fine. James Crown is instantly going into Arboran. Love to see that. I want to get them out as quickly as possible as they are one of the larger uh, belligerents in this war. No reason to keep them around if we don't need to. Nice. Uh, stack wipes and noble rebels for people. Love to see it. Arboran, not willing to peace out yet, even though we have taken your capital. We go. Let's take it and move you over here. Well, actually, I'm a little nervous about moving all my troops down to Westham alone. Uh, we'll wait. We'll wait for this stack to be there, and then we'll we'll do it. Uh, Eagle Crest, I need you to stay in the war for just a little bit longer. So sorry. That way I can get access. Uh, these 13,000 can go meet up here. It's fine. Uh, I guess we're engaging this fight, because... I decided that. There we go. That's a stack wipe. And also engage here. Ooh, that was a, a riskier play. Luckily, someone brought in cannons. Uh, was it me that brought in cannons? I brought in 5,000, so. Didn't bring in a lot, but I brought in some. Arboran, how you doing? They are very committed to the bit. They do not want to uh, peace out in the slightest. So we will have to convince them of that. Move you down south. 
The beauty of a fort line, you can just go and fight your war and you don't necessarily have to worry about uh, all of your land getting obliterated in the war. Here, you can have all of this. And you know what, Dames, Dames Crown? You have been a loyal and great ally for us, and I think you should be rewarded for that. Uh, first of all, build a temple and build a training field. Uh, so I think maybe we give some land over to him. Why not? What do you want? You want all of that, huh? Well, I don't know if I can make that happen, but I can certainly give it my best shot. All right, I can give it my best shot. You just help me win this war and I will give you what you desire. That is how friends work and we are the best of friends. Uh, we don't need everybody on this fort right now. I'd rather just get these occupied. Very high development there. We can get siege down. Westham has brought 36,000 troops up to the north. They have their war wizard leader on top of it. Uh, Eagle Crest is about to be unseaged, so we'll go ahead and piece them out for money and war reps. Thank you. As for here, that is what Dame's Crown wants. Uh, our brand, how do you want to do this? Uh, religion, North Great Wood is Coronate, sure. Uh, I should be converting things. That's actually a good point. Uh, peace deal, that's what I was doing. I don't know if you're willing to do this. Are you doing... Are you willing to give one province up? Why? Or any military strength. Okay, well, I don't feel great about this fight, and I know they're coming to fight me, so I'm going to back off. Uh, yeah, because they have enough cannons to make us feel the pain, in all honesty. You guys move up into Westham's land. Sounds good. Uh, where are we here? Let's circle back up and around. Mm, Want to be careful. Want to be careful. Don't know where Westham's army went, but that's okay. There they are. No, no, no. Move down and around. I was going to try and hit those cannons, but oh well. I'll hit here. I saw Westham's army was locked and leaving. Go split and go onto their capital. Let's just barrage it, make it quick. Could take tech, admin tech. Uh, we'll hold off for now. Uh, no, we won't. I don't want to lose any more innovativeness. And we're actually behind on technology. Uh-oh. Luckily, so is everybody else. <laughs> Punks. All right. Yeah, Westham's actually on Tech 17, so I feel more comfortable uh, finding them if the need comes to it. As for x go ahead. Money or reps. You know the deal. Give it to me. Thank you. Have a nice day. Can I sell titles? In 1640, I can. How are our two provinces doing? They are almost there. Building that last thing still. All right. Uh, you, Elecan, go ahead and give me money and war reps. A diplomat, there we go. Sweet. Now I need to... What do I need to do now? Let's just continue sieging this down. Nice, and that's Westham taken. I doubt that'll get them to peace out. Yeah, no, they are very interested in staying in this war at the moment. This is a level 2 fort, so we don't have to uh, do anything too crazy there. But you guys, take it. We won't barrage, because I want to make sure we can take tech as soon as possible. Uh... Leave one troop, and let's get him. Get wrecked. Damn. That's what you get for being behind on military tech, I suppose. Never fall behind on military tech, he says, when he is behind on military tech. <laughs> My bad. Uh, I suppose we drop one troop off here, and Cardia is evil. Ooh. Okay. Uh, I don't think we're going to do anything with that, but that is kind of good to know. Come on, if we could take this, they may be more willing to peace out. Okay, uh, as for Great March here, let's send our two infantry out. Just make sure they're fully occupied. You guys come back together. Beautiful. That fort has fallen. How you doing, Westum? You ready to peace out? Nope. They definitely are not. Not ready to peace out whatsoever. Uh, but it looks like they are out of, uh, of forts. So, this will be fast. Uh, Ivory Wands. 
Wands have long been sourced from exotic and obscure wood, adventurers delving into Halan's deepest and darkest woodlands to find the most suitable branches. But it seems this business is quickly shrinking. Experts at the cutting edge of Kanor's magical practice have discovered that ivory edges out even the most sought-after woods in its ability to conduct magical energy. Now the Grey Folk of the North hunt the wild and unchecked mammoths of the Reach. New routes to Sarhal and Rahin bringing ivory from the region's elephants, and strange alien teary beasts from the Taken and the Far North forfeit their tusks. Even with the supplies of this previously luxurious material booming, the demand has met it, and weighed down the pockets of any merchant lucky enough to get their hands on a shipment of ivory. Oh, your stick's got unicorn hair in it. Piss off. <laughs> nice little reference there. Uh, price of ivory increased by 25%, and... We gain a thousand crowns, which is very, very good because we need money for one of our missions. Uh, let's split and siege everything that Westham owns. Next time, maybe they'll uh, they'll build a fort. And of course, you want to be careful with how you demand that, because then you get you know maybe maybe too many forts, as some people might argue. There we go. Get wrecked, dude! Come on, come on! You got to give me something more than that if you want to stop me. Mages have finished their spell casting. Okay. Well, Weston will definitely want out of the war now. No doubt about that. They are essentially fully occupied. Yeah, they'll be willing to give me whatever I want. Give me money and war reps and break your alliances. With Wineport. And with Aelmar. Whoa, whoa. Am I at war with Aelmar right now? No. They have just recently allied... That's kind of terrifying, to be honest with you. Uh, what does this mean? Aralassa Glade Dancer? I don't know if the other guy just died and this is the heir. Oh, that's a Regency. Yeah, the other guy just died. Okay, well, fair enough. Uh, Westham, never mind. Don't break your alliance with Wineport, just with Aelnar. And peace out. Just in case Grombar tries to join the Empire. That's Eagle Crest. Or go ahead, not Grombar. I definitely have zero intentions to join the Empire. <laughs> and no thank you. No, thank you. Yeah, we're gonna have to walk these guys up and around. I don't want to get island trapped. No, my guys! Oh, why must you do this? Why can't you just leave them in peace? Oh, we need to go take out Wineport. Let's go do that. You freaking meanies. You kill my one stacks all the time. Just leave them be. Brace that. Take tech. Nice. Uh, how are these cities doing? Okay, you need a barracks, so I have to let that time pass a little bit to gain a little bit of money. It's gonna be a problem. Let's start piecing out people that want out. So, Silvalar, goodbye. Uh, Arbkost. Did you really ally someone in the New World? Weston did, I suppose. Arbkost, Arboran. Arboran would want out. Uh, are you willing to give my ally what they want? You are. Interesting. Let's give him those three. And give me war reps and some money. Sure, why not? Sounds good to me. There you go, Dame Scout. Thank you for being a good ally. I'll help you out there. Hopefully you don't get coalitioned, because I won't answer that call to arms. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, as for down here, this is a level 5 fort. See, someone builds forts. Won't matter, but like, someone builds them. You guys start to siege things down. All will be great in the world. Do that. We have a merchant that we can use. Uh, I don't, I don't know where I want them. Guess right here. Oh, that's where I'm collecting from. Uh, collect in there, I suppose. Sure. Sure. We'll collect in uh, Almhill Deer. That's fine. All right. Great marches, any time you're willing to peace out would be fantastic, because I have one more other war that I need to do, and you're kind of slowing me down, and that's not very cool, man. It's not very cool. Let's check if I've missed anything. Uh, nope, we have not. Money and points. That's all we need left. All we need. Uh, let's go ahead and hit Great Marches troops. That should be make them more willing to peace out, at least. If I can stack wipe them. Come on, be stack wiped. And then go hit Wineport's troops. As for you guys, you can split all of Wineport's troops are up north. And we can get this done and over with. There we go. Great March no longer has an army. Uh, Moonhaven wants out. 
to go ahead and give me war reps and money. Improvements in government technology. Sure, I'll take the free admin. Thank you. Wipe out Wineport's troops here. They should get stack wiped. I don't think they have anywhere to run to. I was incorrect. They apparently have found somewhere to run to. Uh, Wineport is on low. Go ahead and give me war reps and money. Peace out. I don't really care about you being allied to Westham. There we go. That's 57% still. Oh, right. It's a barb cost. Uh, are you willing to peace out? Well, that's unfortunate. It's fine. He'll still be full annexed. Thank you. Uh, and no one really cares. It just said yes. Game, what are you talking about? It just said yes. You lied to me. Why? Dude, they're being full annexed. W what's the difference between paying money or not? Never no, fine. I'll just take the land. Ridiculous. And no one really cares from a coalition standpoint. Go ahead and core all of that up. And we have a mission fulfilled. Conquer the Great Marches. So between Gawed and Grombar lie the Great Marches, a land of harsh weather and harsher people. Although no match for an orc or half-orc, these people are at least somewhat worthy of respect, perhaps representing the closest that humanity may ever come to being worthy of Dukin's respect. These lands will surely put up a great fight, and by Dukin, we'll give them one. Wait, were we supposed to finish this by the time we, before we converted to Coronite? Because that seems really early. Whatever. Meaning claims in all of Gwed's territory. And then... We just have to take it. Uh, let's move our troops up north, but we're not even going to wait. We're going to instantly declare war on Goed here. We have military access, so let's uh, cancel that first. No reason to... Uh... Never mind, we don't have to. They revoked it. Thank you. Uh, Dames Crown, Duran. But nice, Dames Crown won't join because of war exhaustion. Look at that, we are simply big-brained. We outplayed Goed. That is what happened. Right? And if anybody says differently, then uh, they're Goetti spies, and they're not to be trusted. I know I've got diplomats, or I've got colonists and stuff like that. I don't really care at this point. <laughs> Those colonists are not going to make a difference for us. Uh, one thing that I would like to have completed, though, before we do this, is to repopulate Garudia. Uh, how are we doing here? Okay, we're almost there. Because this will give us a large coalition, I would assume. Yeah. Yeah. That'll give us quite the coalition. Which is fine. It's just I don't want to fight a coalition at the end of a campaign. Doesn't really seem <laughs> worth it to me. Seems like a lot of work for very little payout. Okay, let's wipe their troops. Say goodbye to that stack. Uh, Blue Scale is currently pushing up. We may just have to no cb them uh let's get a claim on them just in case go ahead and build that spy network up westham no i'm not giving you unlawful territory piss off how dare you even think even think that i would consider giving you that come on man you should know better than that you should know better uh i can't call you in because you have a truce they do have thamaria who is not a, a complete pushover all right, we have repopulated the Garudian cities. Both Red, Gar Red Garaven and Corin Graven, greatest of the Garudian cities, strongly resisted our conquests, and as such have been greatly damaged during the many wars against the realms of the far north. Our settlers will repopulate these cities and develop them into great centers of Grombar, like their sister cities to the south. After all, what better fate could befall these lands than serving as the beginning of yet more integration of humanity into the realm of the orcs? Lose a thousand crowns, 100 of each monarch point, but they gain some development construction cost reduction and development cost. And they gain orcish minority sizes. And it becomes half orc. Dope. Okay. So now we just need to destroy Goet. And that's it. That'll be a wrap. Let's do it. We are just waiting for these uh, sieges to go on by. Uh, you're moving out to deal with them. That's fine. Move you guys down. I mean, also, Blue Scale just takes the stuff. I'm like, that's that's cool with me, too. That would be very cool with me, too. Uh, Napes Bay, why are your troops over here? That's my question. Seems kind of out of place. 
Rise of public consciousness. Well, damn. Thanks for making me lose the stability for literally no reason. Appreciate it. Alright, let's make a move for their capital. And then we'll be, I think we'll be good at that point. I hope. Uh, let's chase their troops around. Oh, I forgot to build a fort here. Well, it might be a little too late, so. Oh, well. Are you really going to, like, turn around here and, like, try and run back? Oh, I'm so sorry. Should have been faster than that. You know, run around the caves, you better know what you're doing. You can get lost quite easily. Alright, keep converting. It's fine. How is Cornet looking? Wow. Looking very good. Looking very, very good. Uh, even though the dominant faith is Regent Court. <laughs> uh, Alright, we're seizing down their capital. Shouldn't be too big of an issue. And, yeah, go ahead. Whenever you're ready to peace out, I am too. Uh, once the siege is done, we'll move back up top. And we'll deal with the, uh, the kobolds. Perfect. Move up. Make sure we get the claim here. Westham has been re-elected. That does mean their war wizard is dead. Though there's a, a pretty high likelihood that they have another one due to their dynasty. Uh, nope, just a zealot. Okay. Uh, agenda of the diet. He wants to product five production for seven hundred and ninety-three crowns. Twenty-six, twenty-seven. Okay. Cool. Worth it. Absolutely worth it. Uh, blue scale. Sorry, buddy. But, uh, I'm afraid that only I can take Goed's land. I know you're alive, and, and people may not love this idea that we are killing the kobolds who have done so well so far, but this is just the way it has to be. I'll let them live. I just want this land to be unseized. That's it. That's all I want. Nape Spade does not want out yet. Duran does not want out yet. Thamarin, though? Uh, we'll keep you occupied, that way I can use you for war score. Rightful ownership. I don't give a damn what you think you own or don't own. Uh, just become loyal again. That event, by the way, is very difficult to get as a player. But the AI gets it all the time. All the time they ask for claims. It's like, why? It's mine. It's not even your core, it's just a claim. Go away. It's not yours. All right, go ahead. Full annexation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Coalition is smolition. That's what I say to that. Go ahead and lock it in. Look at that beautiful, beautiful name. Honestly, uh, it could have been better if we annexed Azra Expedition, but that's definitely not happening anytime soon. It would take forever to do that. Like, hey, local rulers. All right, we can start to core all up, but it doesn't really matter because the final mission is completed. Destroy Goed. Although having proven a mighty foe, it has become clear that as long as an eagle banner flies above the Alenic frontier, there shall always be more who seek to annihilate Grombar in its entirety. As such, we most we must destroy Goed once and for all. For only once the Grey Kings marches through Goetan, and the land of Goed itself is all but a distant memory, the people of Grombar can never truly be safe. 100 of each monarch point and 25 prestige. Beautiful. Okay, so I don't think we can do any of the other missions here, um, but we can still read through them. So for like Duke and Syncreticism, this is if you if you have a free thinker or you complete tolerance ideas. So it's just a bit of a, a toss up if you get that um, monarch trait or not. Uh, here we talk about how we are not interested in spreading the faith of Dukin amongst our human subjects. After all, only the strongest are worthy to follow in Dukin's wake. Rather, it is simply far easier for all involved to allow the humans to continue to worship the gods of their ancestors. After all, the weak seem to feel some sort of need to believe in something, and who are we to deny them some form of solace? The humans must be reminded, however, that though their faiths are tolerated within our lands, Dukin still reigns supreme over all divinity. Not really sure that's free thinking, but you know what? <laughs> Maybe that's orcish free thinking. We'll give it to him. Uh, brother country. So this, I would have needed two vassals with 150 opinion of me and any half-orc culture as their primary. And I'm not sure how we would have done that. Uh, like, I, I don't know if we would have to have, like, released vassals in our land that we had already stated and culture converted. It seems a little foolish to me, but... Uh, though we are by far the greatest of the half-orc kingdoms, we are by no means alone. Across Eskin and even in Aelantir, new half-orc realms are being established. In order to secure the continued existence of half-orcs on the continent, we must take our half-orc brothers under the protective wing of the kingdom of Grombar. 
And then Green March, we kind of got messed up because this guy right here formed. And there's no way for me to kill him right now. Otherwise, I would. Then we could click the mission. But uh, for Green March, the Orcs of the Green Tide were misled by Dukinson, finding a pointless war of annihilation that was always going to end in a disaster. That need not be the end of their story, however. The Green Orcs are still Orcs after all, and the prospect of an Orcish March to guard ourselves against the rising Ascani Kingdoms is certainly a tempting proposition. Uh, obviously, we didn't need that because, uh, well, there were no Ascani adventures. <laughs> really. Uh, I mean, it looked like Stalbor eventually ended up becoming the strongest one, but uh, Heart Grinder. And us definitely, definitely take the cake on the uh, the strong people within Eskin. No doubt about that one. And then the other mission we didn't do was the beginning of industrialization, where we just have to uh, have a furnace. But that's not until we get all the way. That's the wrong but wrong button. Not until we get all the way up into the Enlightenment, which will spawn in uh, 1700, right? Yeah, 1700. So we have to play another like 60 years to even get there which does not seem entirely worth it if i'm going to be honest uh just to build one furnace hey i would say this was definitely definitely a fun campaign wow it was a bit weird as i said eskin was all monstrous and uh, loren ended up dying and, and all kinds of stuff i mean what look at this the ogres are huge <laughs> uh we just get rid of the uh the uh heidi stuff the terra incognita Look at that, ogres are massive. And they have obliterated the Lake Federation. It's in pieces. Uh, Command's doing all right. Elias is doing pretty well. Aelnar spawned. Oh, that's the first time I've ever seen that. That's scary. It looks like Orden could possibly spawn. Well, no, they're allied. Never mind. They're not interested in that. Resicant is large. Lots of cool stuff that would have uh, that would also be cool in a continued campaign. But uh, we have gotten to the end of Grombar's content. And we are just barely keeping our Dwarven vassals in line. Just barely. They're also not giving us a lot of money, which is kind of disappointing. I probably would have eventually uh, annexed Cracked and Vroar. Um, Astra Expedition, though, would have taken way too long. But if we take a look at the religious map mode here, Coronite is huge. Even though it's not the primary religion of the Empire, I would say it definitely is very, very successful run for it. Uh, New Sun Cult is doing okay. Lots of Jad has made its way in, as it usually does. Uh, we even converted Viacock down here. <laughs> They have flipped over to Coronite. Pretty interesting. Uh, what about in the New World? Lots of Elven Forebears because of uh, Elnar. The Yin people still seem to be doing well. They've consolidated down quite well. Uh, the Thought over here is doing okay because the uh, the Gnomes. Go ahead and look at Culture. Lots of Half-Orc. Lots and lots of Half-Orc. Love to see that. Uh, kind of spreading out all around here. And yeah. Let's take a look at the uh, the timeline here. We started off as tiny little frozen ma here. Well, not tiny. We're decently large uh, with these guys as vassals. We'll go up to, I don't know, medium speed? Sure. Uh, and we did some colonization early on. And that's what we did for the first little bit. And then our vassal rebelled against us. And we put him down. Their leader died. And they became super loyal. Uh, we kept expanding up into Garudia. Just trying to get a little bit more power as Goed got absolutely massive in the early game. Uh, at this point, I think we vassalized the dwarves. I'm not entirely sure. Uh, but then we took out some people on Eskin, and then we realized that uh, maybe Eskin was the direction in which we wanted to go during our period of colonization. At this point, I think we're allied to the trolls, and we're letting them colonize everything in the north. Uh, then we formed Grombar. And Gawed right here was a pretty big threat for us. Um, trolls at this point, we're no longer allied, I don't think. But we are letting them, again, finish out the colonization. I don't know when we start going into Eskin pretty hard. But I think it's soon. I do think it's soon. Ilnor kind of comes up and tries to make a border for us in Eskin to prevent us from getting in. But then Rock Cleaver takes that one province... And I think that's what started our massive expansion into uh, into Eskin. There we go. That was the first war with the trolls. Took them out. Well, at least I thought it was. But maybe I didn't go into Eskin as early as I thought I did. I mean, we're, we're in the mid-1500s now. And we still have not really pushed into it. Kind of odd. No wonder why people were able to uh, demonstrize. Right. And then the Rock Theory formed uh, Khosrugan and 
I was like, uh-oh, can't finish the uh, the mission. Also, what was this? The Aramari Temple expanded over here? Whack. Uh, but now we do. Now we went in hard. We realized they were all monstrous. These guys got coalitioned and split up and destroyed. Uh, we have since annexed the entirety of the Trollish Nation. And we are just trying to consolidate land in Eskin. I think at this point, I'm getting close to where I'm like, okay, we need to refocus on what we were doing. Yep. And we refocus on our mission tree here, taking land that we need and that we can get lots more value out of. Um, we still have another couple war in Eskin we need to do. Some cleanup for Heart Grinder with these guys. Yep, there it is. And with these little tags, just trying to connect everything all across to make our borders look nice. And to eventually build a fort line, which I don't think we've done at this point. Uh, though we are getting close to that fort line. Because I know we went to war with Gawed to take their land for said fort line to make sure it would actually work out well uh, we have serpent guard here they are a vassal by this point we have annexed cell maldor that was not an issue for us cracked and is our vassal as is astra expedition we feed them the omhill deer trying to make sure dwarves can do something with it and then we go for gawed we fight a coalition war and heart grinder we end up winning and uh laurent dies because they don't defend us they lose tons and tons of land. Look at that. It is a very fast collapse. Mere years and their shadow of their former self. Yeah. Obliterated. Uh, and then we go to Great Marches and we go at Gawed. And that is where we uh, we will end it. It would be nice if we had these two <laughs> for uh, nice clean borders. But that is a-okay. Yes, I would like to thank you all for watching. Uh, I'm not sure what the next campaign is going to be. Um, it's down to a couple options. But it definitely will be more difficult than this one you know we, we've done the ground park campaign we're doing a laurentius campaign right now so we want to do something that might be a little bit more uh difficult and not play one of the big bad boys but i would like to thank you all for watching and i hope to see you in the next one